Welcome back to Loose Tube. Today you'll learn how to swage ball end fittings with a Locolock M2 swaging machine. This how-to video will demonstrate how to prepare and swage ball end terminals. You should have already set up your M2 machine with the proper set of dies and the feed guide attached. The process is the same whether you are using the manual hand crank or the power drive. For swaging ball shanks, you will need a high quality cable cutter, an attribute gauge, and your instruction manual. Cut the cable cleanly and squarely to ensure that it will fit into the bore of the terminal. The fit will be snug, so it is essential that the cable wires don't spread or broom out. Place the ball at your desired location on the cable. If swaging single shank balls, keep in mind that the shank will face to the right when swaging, so ensure that you have oriented it properly. Slowly turn the lever or depress the foot pedal to rotate the dies to align the arcs labeled 1 on both the upper and lower dies. This is where you will begin to swage the ball. Snap both ends of the cable onto the feed guide. Place the ball at the beginning of the socket at the number one position. If swaging single shank ends, be sure that the shank is pointed to the right as shown. You may now make your first pass. If your unit is manual, the lever is like a large conventional ratchet wrench. Turn the handle to move the fitting through the dies. If you are using a powered unit, simply depress the foot pedal. Next, rotate the ball 90 degrees from the first position and align it with the beginning of the arc labeled 2. Make a second pass. For the third pass, rotate the fitting only 45 degrees. For the fourth pass, rotate another 90 degrees and swage. If there is a remaining flash, you may rotate 90 degrees once more and pass the ball through the number two position again, but this is not necessary. If you are swaging double shank ball ends, you will repeat this process exactly the same way for the other side. Check the after swage dimensions of the ball and shank. They should pass easily through the grooves on your attribute gauge. If further reduction is necessary, Rotate the fitting again and pass through the number four position a second time. Your ball end terminal is now ready to use. A properly installed local lock fitting will exceed the brake strength of the cable. Thank you for watching Loose Tube. Be sure to subscribe below for updated content and click the links for the next videos in the series.